Alright, here's the last beating of a dead horse I will do, and I fucking promise you. <laughs> uh, so apparently, the developers of um, Batman Arkham Knight Rocksteady have given statements on why there will be no Wii U version of Arkham Knight. There were people speculating that just cause it wasn't announced, it wasn't coming to Wii U. They were like, oh no, it's not announced, but that doesn't mean it's not coming. Hence, hence, Dr. Trey. But, uh, now we have a confirmation, and we also have a confirmation why. Get a load of this. This is a quote from developer Dax Jin of Rocksteady. Uh, here he goes in quote. We knew that we had to do it right. The imagination of the experience of driving the Batmobile that people have is that it's fast, that it's destructive, it's kind of a tank in Gotham City, but it's also highly technical. All of those things can be done only on next gen, which explains why he couldn't put it on PS3 and 360. He goes on further to say that we have to make our technology choices specifically with reference to the gameplay objectives that we want, so we choose the platforms that we are going to give us that. And pretty much what that's saying is that he chooses the platforms that can give them exactly the technology that they can deal with. Um, so pretty much, the Wii U, <laughs> it's already out of this race when it comes down to getting games power and it's already worn out this is pretty much a next gen console who, which is dead at the beginning of next gen <laughs> and it's fucked up but it's true i think black bomb put a video up on it i think i watched it yesterday and what he was saying was that nintendo should probably just drop the wii u I can't say yes, and I can't say no. Regardless of if they drop the Wii U or not, it's a lose-lose situation. If they don't drop the Wii U, they're gonna lose money for the next five to six years. <laughs> if they do drop the Wii U, they're losing all their fan support. So, be completely honest, what do you do if you're Nintendo? You screwed yourself over from the start, and now, you want to think about it, you can't necessarily finish. <laughs> How do you come out from something like this? Because you lose if you start over, you lose if you keep going. I. <laughs> is, can you win this situation? I don't really think so. It brought me to the conclusion that I, I, I've been thinking about this for a while anyways. After X, Smash, and Bayonetta 2 come out, I'm not going to sell my Wii U, but I am going to pawn it. <laughs> I, I want to pawn it just so I can get it back, just in case something does come out after those. I'm not going to sell it, because, like I said, then I can't get it back. The problem is, if your console's only been out for a year and a half, and people are already thinking about getting rid of it, you did something wrong. <laughs> and the thing is, Nintendo still doesn't understand that... They're doing something wrong. I think that's what the point of, like, movements like Nintendo Redirect, which, yes, I've been a part of. Uh, I feel like they should be supported. And even these people that are uh, not supporting them, I feel as if they're kind of blindsiding it because they think that Nintendo can hope for a better console or that you just can't throw requests out their way and they'll just handle them all can't just handle all the requests, I agree, but you can listen to some of them, like OS fixes, virtual console cross-buy, why the hell should I buy the game twice? You already developed it for two fucking different platforms, why the hell do I have to buy Cube on Wii U and then go buy it on 3DS? What the fuck? I don't, <laughs> I don't get why this is not just like the Vita and PS3, or PS4 in this case, but uh, I've gone a little off topic. My main point of this video was the Wii U is already out of this race and it's been out for a year and a half. If you want to think about it, if next gen came out when all three consoles came out, that means the Wii U died in five months. <laughs> the Wii U's been dead for five months and it's done in five months. It's shameful that Nintendo I mean, like, you can compare this to the GameCube, but when you really want to look at it, 
this is like an absolute failure. I don't know, you can't recover from something like this. And that's my phone, so. Don't you just hate it when that shit happens? Like, you pick up the phone and no one fucking answers. That shit really pisses me the fuck off. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Um, update on the computer is coming, so. We are just getting it scheduled. We're just figuring out which type we want. See you guys in the future. Bye-bye. Deuce. My ball. By the way, I was not sad or some shit. I was just tired because I woke up. <laughs> That's all. I just didn't want you all thinking that, oh my god, his fanboy isn't any sad about the Wii U. No, I don't really give a shit. I'm selling mine. <laughs> We're not selling the Pony yet. But like I said, I'm not sad or anything. I just woke up. Anyways, see you guys later. My balls. Durin has come!